begin this tutorial on replacing an optical drive by taking the cover off the machine. Next we're going to uh, turn off the power to the computer by flipping the AC power switch to off and then disconnecting the AC power cord going to the power supply. This prevents shock hazards and damage to your new hardware. Next we're going to look at the drive. It mounts through the front drive bay. There's a clamping mechanism and then we have uh, an 80 wire 40 pin data cable, it's gray, and a power cable that need to be removed from the old drive. We're zooming in now and we're going to remove first of all the power cable and next of all the data cable. Once these cables are removed we can loosen the clamping mechanism as we're going to do now. We're loosening the clamping mechanism we could also unscrew the drive if it used that type of mechanism. We push the drive forward to remove it. The old drive is now shown on the left with its uh, wide data connector and small power connector. There's the power connector on the new drive which is actually smaller than the data cable. There's the power connector on the old drive and the power connector on the new drive with the data connection next to it. We're now going to slide the new drive into place and make sure that it lines up with the front panels that are already in place. Once we've done that, then we can go to the side of the drive and we can secure the clamping mechanism as we see here. If this drive were screwed into place at this point we would attach the screws necessary to hold the drive in place. Alright, we've got the clamping mechanism now secured and at this point we can start working with cables. We're first of all going to disconnect the IDE data cable since we don't need it for any other drives in this machine. We've just removed it. We're now going to plug in a serial ATA cable to an empty serial ATA connector which is in purple. Cables in red. And it's connected only one direction. It's a little L shape to it. We now have it connected we can now connect first of all the power cable to the new drive and then we can connect the data cable. Once we have finished attaching the power and data cables to the drive we can close up the computer and reattach AC power 